Hey everybody, it's Crypto Anarchist here, and I'm bringing you guys a video on parallel blockchains. So parallel blockchains is something that doesn't really get talked about all that much, but it's the solution to the blockchain bloat problem, and it also allows any blockchain to grow to any size. Uh, I'm bringing this up today because I've been talking a lot of Bit about Bitcoin Cash recently. This is how Bitcoin Cash can scale globally and actually get more node um, validation and node participation than Bitcoin SegWit. So people who back Bitcoin SegWit always say that the big issue with Bitcoin Cash is with larger block sizes, you won't be able to run a full node, and so you're losing the security that the full nodes provide when they validate transactions on the network. And, you know, this is sort of true, but that's because Bitcoin SegWit uses an all-or-nothing node approach. And what I mean by this is all the blockchain is is it's a list of all the transactions that have ever occurred on that blockchain. You don't need to download all of these transactions in order to trust the network. You need to download enough that you trust what's left of the network that you have not downloaded, and then you need proof that other nodes on the network have downloaded the parts you haven't seen. So again, if your node is not large enough to download the entire blockchain, you don't have to download like you don't have to download it to trust it. You just have to trust that, uh, or you just have to ha receive proof from another user that they have downloaded that part and uh, they have you know seen the transactions and they're legitimate so this is something that you can actually solve through programming and it's not really like it's difficult to do obviously but you can do it and so the way you do this is by running parallel blockchain so again a parallel blockchain is just it's like a normal blockchain you just split it up into parts so um, if we look at this slide here when uh, when we're talking about you know can Bitcoin Cash sustain enough full nodes? Yes, it, but it, Bitcoin Cash has to separate its blockchain, and by separate its blockchain, I just mean run a parallel blockchain. So that just means you'll have a blockchain. Let's say uh, the Bitcoin Cash block sizes are 100 megabytes, something that people would say is not even workable. Uh, but 100 megabyte block sizes is completely workable if you use a parallel blockchain. So all a parallel blockchain again is. Uh, you run different nodes, and these nodes will be either light, medium, or heavy nodes, and they work just like you know normal full nodes, except they they only download specific transactions from the blockchain. So that way you can have light, like even if you have a full block size of 100 megabytes, you can have light nodes which only download 100 or sorry one megabyte. Uh, you can have medium nodes which only download 10 megabytes and heavy nodes which download the full 100 megabytes and that gives users a choice they get to choose which one they want so obviously uh, you know it's better for Bitcoin cash and if you know how lightning channels work uh, lightning channels have to be run by full node or by users who are connected to other nodes so like the more connections you have the more you can do lightning transactions and there's actually opportunities within Bitcoin cash for people to run like lightning channel banks um, so being a full node is always a good thing and downloading more transactions is always a good thing but uh, even if you know you can't download the full all the transactions or and you can't be connected to every user you can still be connected to some so you could even make these uh, nodes or these uh, partial nodes smaller you could go smaller than one megabyte maybe you go down to like 10 kilobytes for you know to put for someone to put on their smartphone and not drain too much data from their smartphone. I don't know how much data costs on a smartphone. That might be a terrible idea. But I'm just saying, like, you can, if with a parallel blockchain, you can make partial nodes super small. And they're still helping to validate transactions on the network. They're just not validating all of them. But why do they need to validate all of them? You know, they don't need to validate all of them. They just need to help with some. So that's all you need. So with Bitcoin Cash, can it sustain enough full nodes? Yeah, it's very easy. It just separates the blockchain into parts and runs these parts parallel to each other. So they're separate, but they are all working on the same blockchain, if you know what I mean. So then the final thing you have to remember about this is that in order for Bitcoin Cash to do this and give users the full security uh, benefits of running full nodes, because the whole reason why you want to run a full node is you validate your own transactions. You get to see them tra or like broadcasted over the network. So you don't have to trust like there's no trust involved with running a full node that's what's beautiful about it you can also run a partial node without any trust be if you separate the uh, partial nodes by wallet address and then you put transaction limits on top of them so if you separate it by wallet addresses all I mean is like let's take this example for the Bitcoin core wallet um, let's say this is the Bitcoin core wallet 1e if you look at the top of the picture right there uh, I did a real quick 
kind of bad Photoshop of just putting one E there after the wallet. But that would just write, or all that would mean is this this wallet uh, within Bitcoin Core would only download download transactions that started or or that started with one E. Uh, transactions to and from wallet addresses that started with one E. So again, the reason why you do this is because then everyone using this network, they can only generate wallet addresses uh, that begin with one E, and then every transaction that begins with one E, or that is sent to an address w that starts with one E, or is sent from an address that starts with one E, those every type of those transactions is downloaded on this blockchain and that's so that's how a parallel blockchain works and then you also have to have transaction limits though because if you're limiting the blockchain to the users of the wallet service which is separated by wallet addresses then if one user starts doing a bunch of transactions uh, it'll overload the network so they there has to be a hard limit on the number of transactions each user can use and if they go over that limit they just have to run a a node that can process more transactions and so that's also fair too because you know if you're running using a lot of transactions that means you have money if you're doing a lot of transactions you should spend more money to run a full node to help the network out more again you're not going to be spending a lot of money to run these sorts of nodes and stuff uh, and you'll have transaction limits you know that are still pretty high so it's not like a huge issue you have to worry about but or for transaction limits and the only people who are going to you know go over these transaction limits are big companies, big exchanges, mining companies, you know, things like that. So they don't really care about this anyways because they're going to be they're going to want to run full nodes just for the security aspects and they're going to have the funds and the hardware available to do it. Um, but I, if you just go back to this uh, picture here, this picture is a very good representation of how you would run a parallel blockchain. All blockchain is, again, it's just a stream of information. It's just a list of all the transactions that are occurring throughout the network as time goes on. So if you look at this picture and let's assume that we're talking about Bitcoin Cash again and each one of these factories on the left is actually it's a small um, or it's, it creates its own parallel blockchain and so we have Bitcoin Cash separated into three different parallel blockchains here and so with eight mega, megabyte blocks like Bitcoin Cash has now that would mean each one of these uh, parallel blockchains would have two and two-third uh, megabyte block sizes and so that's much more usable eight megabyte blocks can be hard on some people but you know two and two-thirds isn't terribly hard um, so that would be better so if you know, you know if they ran Bitcoin Cash with a parallel blockchain and split it up into three parallel blockchains this is a very good representation of it and all those tubes they all represent the same blockchain but it's a different part of the blockchain running parallel to each other and all that like the way you would finish this uh, infographic out is you would actually have plug those tubes into a bigger tube that represents the full blockchain so it's a really simple idea um, you know it's it would be a, hard to implement just because it, it would take a lot of work you know it take a, a lot of developer time but if Bitcoin Cash develops parallel blockchains then as the only large block size cryptocurrency it's gonna smoke the rest of the competition um, because the other ones are sort of committed to one or very small block sizes and parallel block or parallel blockchains make large block sizes you know no problem um, and again the whole thing about this is it actually increases node participation because if you allow users with even small amounts of processing power to help validate transactions on the network even though they're not validating all the transactions because you've switched the equation from an all or nothing uh, question uh, as to whether or not you're going to validate transactions. It's either you validate all the transactions or you validate none. If you can do parallel blockchains, you can choose how many transactions you validate, and so that opens up basically the floodgates to a bunch of new users who can help validate transactions who would have been priced out otherwise. So it's actually a really good thing, parallel blockchains. They're really a beautiful thing. Uh, and if Bitcoin Cash, they don't, again, Bitcoin Cash doesn't have to come out with this right away because it's not even close to filling up its own block sizes, you know. But if Bitcoin Cash starts getting close, all they have to do is, you know, throw it on the roadmap. Let the, pe like, let, let the investors know that, hey, we're planning on fixing this, but it's not an issue yet, so we're just going to throw it on the roadmap. And all they have to do is say we're going to we're going to use parallel blockchains. We're going to split the blockchain up into smaller bits so that you can help validate transactions even if you don't validate all of them. And so that's all they need to do. Um, and if Bitcoin Cash does this, you know, I really think if they well, they'd have to do a parallel blockchain and also offer 
the lightning channels that Bitcoin Cash is capable of offering. So, but if they did the lightning channels and the parallel blockchains, I think Bitcoin Cash will be king. Like, I think it's going to be king, no doubt about it. But, uh, you know, whether or not they do this, I don't know. Again, the one thing that sort of makes me, you know, sort of disappointed in the cryptocurrency community is the developers don't seem to want to do new things and this the parallel blockchain would be a very new thing as far as cryptocurrencies is concerned but i think the parallel blockchain would be absolutely phenomenal um again if i i think if bitcoin cash does this they become king uh whether or not they do do this i have no idea it's all dependent upon the developers but i hope they do or some other cryptocurrency comes out and does because uh, if they do, you, you know, again, block sizes don't matter anymore, and so you just fix, fixed the biggest limiting factor on cryptocurrencies that has been here since the beginning. And everyone's known about the problem, but nobody's really fixed it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. There's going to be more coming out soon.